she would make me feel good in the middle of the night. You make it all right in the middle of the day. You make it the final play. For showing, come on, for showing, babe. For showing, come on, for showing, baby. In the middle of the night, you made me feel alright. In the middle of the day, you made me feel okay. Oh, I know you, yeah, baby. I want you to be doing it, baby. I want you to be doing it, baby. I always burn my soul away. You know that I love ya, baby. Well, I love you too. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, y'all. Thanks to Hippie Jack and um, for letting us be part of tonight. Anytime we can be uh, up here, I call it free on the mountain is what I call it free on the mountain because that's how I feel yes it is it is a freedom on the mountain it's a freedom on the mountain and so yeah Go back to this song right here.
Thank you. Michael, how about it for Michael right here? <laughs> well, I appreciate that very much. Uh -huh. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. <laughs> I try not to think about too much about what anybody's going to think about what we sing and play. So it is a blessing that, that we get to sing for y'all tonight. Thanks for letting us. Yeah, thank you all. girl that lived across the creek she followed me down to the country store only cents in my pocket but way back then it wouldn't take much more with bare feet walking down a country road we had some bubble gum and a couple of coals Bobby Joe was a little girl's name. She'd be sweet or mean as a striped snake, y'all. Always wanted a big brother with her. Since she didn't have one, I'd take the place. Last I heard, she's a beautician. Working down in old Seymour.
Thank you. Thank you. That's a song I wrote about where I grew up in East Tennessee, right up yonder. Yeah. Johnny's left us. Michael said, "Get Johnny, Johnny up here." Up here? Johnny Is Johnny gone? So. so. Oh, okay. Well, he, he ain't coming back on Gizmo. So. Okay. Well, maybe if he makes it back here, then maybe he'll he'll, he'll play some piano with us. We'll see what happens. Because uh, it might be time for the next group to get on up here. Oh, might have to do that. I don't have a clock up here, so I don't know how long we've been up here. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I love, I can't indeed. wait to hear, uh, okay, tell me if I'm saying it right, Skinny Beaver and the Honeysuckle Playboys. Is that right? Okay. I did write it wrong, I think, in my email to my, to our email folks. I've called them Magnolia Playboys. Where did I get that? I think Jack might have said that. But I like Honeysuckle better. So Skinny Beaver and the Honeysuckle Playboys, they're going to come up here in just a minute. Oh, look at here. I don't know what we're going to do. But... Thank y'all for uh, coming tonight and, and donating to the cause, to the folks. That's what I was, the point I was trying to make earlier, Michael. But you, you got me sidetracked there a little bit. But. <laughs> oh, of course he's invited, yeah. yeah. There's a keyboard right Johnny there. Johnny Neal, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm so lucky to have you. Well, my keyboard's been blessed. This is a new, this is a new instrument for me, and he's oh. sanctified it. So. Well, let me explain something to you. They sanctified it. I got an email. She said, well, we, we had a Nora Triton or one of those, you know, court Tritons. And he said, well, he got a new keyboard. They were well, is he going to be okay with it? I said, well, yeah. I beat on things. Anyway, how about a hand for Blue Bottle Two Blow? <laughs> you a sweet, you a sweet thing. You sweet pea. You a sweet pea. Hey, Thank John. you. John, oh, whatever. John, yeah. do you know? You Thank know, you so uh, much for your heart and soul. Johnny Neal, I mean it. Oh, thank you. Hey, oh, Johnny, we lo oh, uh, yeah. we've lost a lot of uh, great, great, great artists this year. Uh, heaven has gained a bunch of them, you know. And the most recent one I can think of is Fats Domino. And I, I know you're a piano player, so do you know any Fats? Uh, you know some yeah, fats? I know the, I think. Well, let's see what we can do. Ain't that a shame? You want to put it, is it on the sound you need? Oh, wait, my piano's been better. Put it on pie. So here we are, meet me and the. Uh, Mike, we were, told Mike we we're trying to spin this little knob up here. We, <laughs> He's got too many knobs, man. No, don't say she ain't got knobs now. No. Anyway, y'all having a good time? <laughs> so what do you want to do? Come on, Rick, 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 tell me. I'm trying to get these guys in my studio. You better put on Facebook if you want it to be. I'm saying. If you, if you know any fast domino, man, I'd be love, I'd love to like, oh, jam with you which one on it. Oh, see, he told me on the I, I love, I love fast, but I can't think of yeah. all the words of all his songs. Yeah, well, I, hey, I'll make them up. Yeah. yeah. I, I got, and it would be, it would be dedicated to fast. Kid, D, is that good for you? That I works. Know. It's just like, oh, there it is. Now, I don't even know if this is right, but. Why am I doing this? You came, you tried to make goodbye. Can you say? You all feel that way. I ain't got to say. Oh, Lord, I can't complain. You said. You had a pee. 
Trimming on a tree, oh, look for my good gal, oh, she don't keep on me, no, you better come on, come on. in my kitchen, to be sure to be right now, dog. Go ahead, Michael. I ever drove a car. I drove my first day to kindergarten, New Hopewell Elementary School. 
sitting on my Aunt Melissa's lap. She could tell I was worried about going to school, you know. She taught me this song right here. This song right here. Right here, right here. Yeah, she did. Driving that old 68 Mercury. She said, sing it. Mama raised me on cornbread and beans. Well, my mama raised me on cornbread and beans. Mama raised me on cornbread and beans. Lord, Lord, don't want to be treated this way. Well, now, going down the road feeling bad, oh. of us in, into uh, the sanctuary tonight. Are we going to, are you not done yet? No, hell no, yet. We ain't done yet. What? I'm I feeling one no. more. I'm feeling one more. I'm feeling one more. How about, y'all want to hear another? <laughs> Got a lot more music coming up too, of course. Sure, yeah. I'll sit back down. I'll sit back down. I'm trying to, I'm, uh, I'm being all bossy with Johnny Neal. What? I go, y'all, you sit back down. That ain't right. Something's not right about that. I want to dedicate this to uh, oh, to all y'all here and to all the people we're trying to raise uh, uh, goods goods for and stuff. This is an old gospel song. And uh, we all know this song. But uh, I learned this version. I learned this version through my, my, my friend, Mr. Uh, Otha Turner, uh, the late Otha Turner. And I want to dedicate this to all y'all. Yeah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. That's what I said. Hallelujah, when 
I lay my burden down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. When I lay my burden down. Burden down, Lord. Burden down, Lord. When I lay my burden down. Burden down, Lord. Burden down. I'm going home to be with Jesus when I lay my burden down. I'm going home to be with Jesus when I lay my burden down.
above the two below and a long, tall, long leg. <laughs> Melissa, y'all have a good night. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody having any fun? Yeah. Any fun? Johnny Neal, Johnny Neal, Blue Mother, two below. Lord God. Coming to you live from the Outlaw Gospel Music Sanctuary right here in beautiful Overton County on the Cumberland Plateau. A non-ticketed event. You can't buy a ticket to this. You got to help us out. Bring some food, children's coats, children's toys. Get us down the road. Try to make things different just a little bit. There's my lovely daughter, Avery, who, how many years ago? How long have you been married this time? I mean, how long have you been married? Two years ago, Halloween night. Right here in this sanctuary, I performed the best wedding I've ever performed in my life. We had a good time. You can see it on my Facebook or on my YouTube page. It was a good one. It was almost, I almost slipped into it being about me, but at the end we changed it. What is it, Avery, you said last show? She said she's figured out that this is just, they're all just B-roll for me. B-roll. Um, we're going to do a set change here, and we're going to have some more spectacular music in the meantime. I think uh, Chumley's getting ready to close down, so if you want a little something to eat before uh, the next show, he's got coffee and hot chocolate and stuff like that, and then he's going to fold up and head out, and he may come in for a little music. Oh, well, keep talking, Jack. You know I can do that. I want to thank everybody involved. We've got Logan and we've got Skip and Tommy John and Trey all running stuff back there. This was a dream of mine. I had this I had this dream that we I had a dream that we were gonna do live broadcast from here. And uh, it's been a bit of a struggle because we're new to this and it's kind of a new industry, internet broadcast. And uh, like I said, Larry Dishman came out here from Twin Lakes and with 14 minutes to go. Kind of reminds me, remember the first show we set up? We were still wiring the stage. Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the cable guy. <laughs> he lives right up the mountain from here. He probably heard that phone ring and went, oh. Gotta go back to Jack. <laughs> so <laughs> he's been here a lot. If you're out there watching us and uh, you weren't able to come and bring some food, if you feel like you want to contribute a little bit, um, you can go to our website, www.jamminandhippiejacks.com, and go to the what button is it, Logan? The donate button? The donate button. And uh, secure PayPal. Shoot us a few bucks. We'll use it for the right thing. I promise you that. And uh, we'll keep getting down the road. We're, next Saturday on the 4th, we're going to go out and do another distribution. And then uh, November 18th, We've got our good friend Lizzie Plotkin's going to show up, and it's going to be the Barstool Romeos. Yeah. yeah. Let me remember who all's coming. Daniel Kimbrough. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Malcolm Holcomb's going to come close the show. Malcolm, we hadn't booked him. He said, he, Malcolm wrote me. He said, I'm coming in November. And you, when Malcolm writes you and says he's coming in November, you say, uh, your room is ready. That's what you say. 
So that's going to be it. And then uh, in December, we're still working it out. It looks like Tim O'Brien, looks like Mary Gauthier, and, uh, and Tommy and Ben are going to come out and do an opening show for us. And, uh, and then our last distribution of the year will be Christmas morning, and Avery and I and Mississippi and a few others are going to load up on Christmas morning, go up on the mountain, and uh, hand out the rest of the toys and the meat. You want to go? If there's room, you're in. You, you got to snuggle up, sit close. There's been, there's been inadvertent bad behavior just because it was crowded. <laughs> it happens. It happens. What happens on the hippie bus stays on the hippie bus, except that a lot of it is caught on camera. It can, it can go either way. I know. There